Hey you guys, um, so I was uh, telling Parnell a few minutes ago that I think this is the most highly anticipated sequel <laughs> to a series <laughs> that, we have, that we've ever done. Uh, uh, people reach out, I know you guys reach out all the time, you're like, hey, when are you gonna get back to the drawer system? And uh, it, it warms my heart to be back in your shop again after happy to have you back. A bunch of BS. Yeah. Uh, and and so now we're gonna we're gonna resume where we were at. And so as a a bit of a review, we had measured up the back of the rig. We had done that like two or three times. Six months ago. Yeah, six months ago. Um, and we had made this uh, this mock up of what we thought we were gonna do. And then since then. Um, you made a few refinements to the design uh, as well. Changed it, made it a little bit yeah. lighter. Um, we looked at the tubing prices for both mild steel uh, mm -hmm. and stainless. The stainless was just $10 a stick more, which means no paint, no powder coat, no hassle, never rust, nothing ever go wrong with it. So it's kind of a no brainer just to Do use that. the stainless. Yeah. So we're using uh, stainless box tubing, 065 mm -hmm. wall thickness. Uh, it's easy to weld, should be pretty easy to put together. We're gonna use a combination of, I think, three quarter and half inch tubing mm -hmm. and should be rigid enough for ever. That's this stuff here. Yep, yep. Cool. And were you saying that this is more expensive than it's this? It's $10, the, that's both, both those tubes are 304 stainless. Uh, yeah. They're $10 a 20 foot length more expensive than mild steel. Mm -hmm. So with mild steel, we would have to prime it, sand it, prime it, paint it. Yep. Uh, and with this, all we have to do is weld it and put it in there. There's and we're nothing done. to do with it. Yeah, it'll last, never rust, never corrode, nothing. So, uh, you know, so clean. Yeah, yeah. So like low maintenance, that is, that is awesome. And I have enough stainless plate to make all of the brackets and everything else. We'll water jet the brackets out and. Now let's hit on weight really quickly. So here in the internet out there, why don't you go aluminum? Why don't you, you know, why don't you frame it up in aluminum to reduce weight? What was the weight difference when we, like approximately when you and I did the, well, when you it, did the calculations? Yeah, it, it just, it was only a few pounds different. The aluminum is more expensive. It's more difficult to weld. Uh, it's softer. It, it, once it bends, it doesn't spring back as, as nicely as the stainless will. Uh, and I don't think you're going to bend it, but just in the odd case you do. Uh, I just don't think it's, it's even a, a, something to consider. Right. And looking at aluminum extrusion, that would be heavier than this. Uh, if, if you're building it out of 80-20 or Control Dynamics or RK Rose or any of the extruding companies, yeah. uh, it would actually be heavier than this because that's a solid extrusion. This is a hollow tube. And then the, the cost of, the, of, of doing any kind of modular extruded aluminum setup is... It was about four times the cost of welding it out of steel yeah. because uh, the, you know, welding doesn't cost anything and the steel is cheap versus the expensive aluminum extrusion plus the thing that kills you with the aluminum extrusion is us all the brackets and fabrication parts you need mm -hmm. where we'll take a little teeny stainless plate, we'll water jet out all our brackets and it just costs the amount of money the water jet uses in electricity and 17 cents a pound of garnet. So right. a fraction of the price that the um, aluminum parts would cost. Right. What do we got there? Like so this is the, we're gonna actually redo it a little bit because okay. I was gonna use this fancy non-standard tubing and it turned out to be about three times as expensive as just using three quarter inch. So we're gonna, just gonna redraw a little bit of that in three quarter inch tubing. Uh, it doesn't really change the design at all. And then I think given we've gone through it so many times, I think I'm probably happy just cutting and doing a little wood mock-up just so we're absolutely sure mm -hmm. that we've got all of our ducks in a row and that the drawer slides fit and that the fridge fits and it's all good. Okay. Uh, and once we've done that, we'll uh, start cutting up the tubing and uh, get you on the welding table and you can start welding it all together. Right on. I, I can start welding it all together? Now that concerns me. It's your box, <laughs> not mine. You know, we're not experts. We've never done it before. Yep. So we're just kind of using our best judgment and one really cool thing about the Overland Bound community is you've gotten so many responses back that change the design. Hey, you guys should really, right. why are you doing it that way? You should do it this yep. way. And you know, you've gotten a couple of crazy ones, but most of them have been really productive and, and good, good advice. Yep. All right, cool deal. Um, 
Should we get to work? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So I'm at 44 and a quarter. If you're enjoying the episode today, continue the adventure. Become an Overland Bound member. We exist to connect you with the great outdoors through vehicle dependent travel because adventure is necessary. For less than the price of a fancy cup of coffee a month, our members get full access to the Overland Bound One app on iOS and Android where you can connect with our worldwide community, plan your next adventure, and find trips, trails, campsites, and other destinations. Our members also get thousands of dollars worth of discounts on their favorite Overland gear. Join the Overland Bound crew today and take your first step to your next great adventure. All right, there's been a lot of cutting and cleaning and prepping this morning. Yep. So we did some, we water jetted some uh, tabs. Yep, that that's we'll good. Use. We're gonna use that to bolt the top to the frame and we're gonna use that to bolt the frame to the car. And then we still need to water jet the tabs for the fridge, but those are gonna have to be very precise to hold into the exact right spots. So we're gonna do that after we install the fridge in our first pod we've assembled. Right on. And we, uh, we did some learning um, by uh, mocking this up in wood first. We had the, we had the plan. Yep. Mocked up in wood. Yep. Yep. And I, I don't think I would have done that had we done this six months ago. Right. But I fiddled <laughs> with that drawing a bunch over the last six months, and right. I just I wasn't comfortable just starting from scratch again. And there's still a bunch of stuff I'm scratching my head about. Going, how are we going to hold the seat up? What was going to Right. So if, if we're doing this uh, as a business, you would have documented all this along the way and written right. it down, but we're just doing it two knuckleheads in the, in the shop. So we didn't do any of that. Yeah. <laughs> but we didn't so, think we were going to have to take we, <laughs> six months off the right. project either. No, so. exactly. Exactly. Um, now we're all framed up. I wish I had this in my garage. This is awesome. It makes it a lot easier yeah. to make the to make them all the same every single time. Makes it a lot easier. If we were trying to yeah. line that up and clamp it to a flat table every time, yeah, uh, I can't even imagine 
uh, and I'm not a huge metal fabricator, but I can't imagine not having a table right. if you're going to do any, if you're going to try to make money doing it, for sure, I cannot imagine not having a table. Yeah. Now, what are we doing? What do we hope to finish today? Uh, what I would love to get finished today, it's already 1.15, yep. is I would love to have this whole thing tacked up today where we can put it in the back of the car and say, the base is tacked up. Right on. Um, uh -huh. And I think if we had this thing tacked up today and we had got the water jetted brackets for the fridge cut out, we'd be in really good shape. Tell us about the top. So uh, the top's either gonna be bamboo uh -huh. or uh, a product called Starboard. Starboard's an HDPE plastic. Yep. Um, it's, uh, in today's crazy a germ world, it's antibacterial. Yeah. Nothing soaks into the pores of it. Uh, it's made sort of like milk bottles. Uh -huh. uh, it's really machinable. You can make cool. really nice tight fitting uh, sections of it. It's flexible, but not super flexible. I mean, I can't really bend that section of it. Right. So um, it's a little heavier maybe than bamboo, but not yeah. much. And I, I think given if we had to go buy it, I would say, let's just use bamboo. Right. But I already own it from another project. So we might as well use it and not have it sitting in the rack. Cool. And uh, it'll provide a better uh, overall platform for sure. And it's a little bit more expensive than bamboo, 50% uh, mm -hmm. more expensive than bamboo, but it is something that you you, you could never hurt it. I mean, for me, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. I mean, you it sounds like it's a pretty really cool hurt. material. And um, I have enough to do the whole thing and it'll be black match, you know, cool. the front face of the fridge. And then uh, if we have all that done today, I'll be a little bit happy. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's get to it. Good. So they all look similar to me. They look pretty darn close. Yeah, yeah, pretty close. Currently, it won't be resting in anything here. I'll get on the other side if you need. A little bit more. I'm going with that. Uh, that looks good. Got plenty of room to move back and great. forth a little bit and you don't have to remove the drawer to undo it. That is awesome. Parnell, I'm pretty stoked about the progress today. Yeah, no, we this got it all tagged together. A little bit of welding. Uh, we got all our brackets made for the fridge. We'll rubber mount that in there. So yep. it's sitting on rubber feet. 
rubber isolated from the frame, so I think that's all good. All right, we test fit this. It looks good. Um, next step is really just assembly, right? Yeah, next step is we need to put the drawer runners in. Yep. Uh, which we'll use half inch material for that. Mm -hmm. uh, make more tabs just like this for the drawer slides. Mm -hmm. um, and then bolt the drawer slides in. And once we've got the drawer slides bolted in, we're really ready to final design the top, design the hole we're gonna do here for the, all the electronics and everything, mm -hmm. and do the front and do the sides. And then cool. we have our piece that's gonna slide in here. Uh, I think the test of that with the wood on it worked really well. I, don't, I can't see that sagging too much. Mm -hmm. And then uh, gotta come up with the mounting bracket for the piece that's gonna go over the top of the seats. But I think we ought to have this in the vehicle kind of pre-planned of exactly where it's gonna go before we spend too much time trying to do that. Cause if, you know, if all this is off a quarter of an inch, yeah, that's not gonna be level, so. Yeah, cool. So I think uh, we're not too far away, probably two more episodes, I guess. Yeah. One more, more to get all the welding and everything done and then one more to put all the parts together. Right on. One thing I wanna mention again, cause people have reached out and said, hey, the plans. Um, we were changing the plans even today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, a good, so, good example is we were originally yeah. not gonna put these where they were, but to make the feet of the cooler sit on something and not just rely on these, Yep. these had to be in a different spot, so we had to move those. Right, and now um, the refrigerator sits right on those cross pieces. Yeah, yeah yep. so that's great. And so the plans we put out will be what we ended up really doing. We'll just modify the CAD files to what the little teeny changes, and it's really not much. We yeah. decided you didn't need a brace here. This is way strong enough so there's yes. no sense in adding any more material so i'll take the brace out of the plans oh that's right i know that you guys are going to ask how much this weighs so cornell's got a scale 25 pounds 25 pounds not bad at all all right and we're going to add I'd say we're going to add another pound and a half to it, would be my guess. With my, just my welding material. <laughs> <laughs> These will end up going in here just like this. So really, oh. we're only adding a few, we're only adding six little tabs. Great. And then we don't have to add any more metal. So Great. the full frame weight will be 25 pounds plus six of those. Uh, and then we're going to do rubber isolators for the fridge on both sides. And then all we have to do is the drawer box. Great. Which I still think bamboo is probably the best solution for the, for the drawer box. Okay. Dovetailed right corners, bamboo on the bottom. Changed my life. Be nice. It'll be nice. Yeah. All right, Parnell. Thank you very much. Once again. No problem. Until next time. I guess I should help you clean up your shop now. <laughs>